there, I am Dara of Tech Shit and App of the Week. You're watching App of the Week this week. This week we're doing a Mac app called uh, Postbox. Uh, it's available from postbox -inc -inc uh, com, and it's $39.99. It's also available on the uh, Apple Downloads page. You're able to get a 30-day 30 trial, 30 trial demo, which is also what we have. Um, so here we go. It's just a standard mail client. Well, it's a bit more than standard. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'll just close these and show you, sorry about this, I hadn't prepared too well. Anyways, I downloaded this earlier today, so I'm not 100% sure of, uh, of everything within it. Well, um, as we open it first, you just see it looks just kind of like a normal old mail client, doesn't see anything too special, just get mail, home, you know, the usual shit. Um, anyways, so, uh, I'll show you what else this can do. Um, well, we'll open this up this email, and uh, which has a thing, kind of embarrassing picture of Marcus. He won't mind too much. Um. Anyway, so uh, first of all, if we wanted to save a picture, or if there is an attachment, you've got this nice little thing over here. You just double click, it'll save it. Um. You know, you can also find recent, you know, whatever. Uh. So standard things on the top here: reply, sign topics. So, like you could select this and do assign it to important or I could archive it if I didn't like it, or just delete it completely. Uh, so, new to do, just whatever. Adds that, then I've got this to do here, which I will delete, because I don't want that. Uh, for some reason, these came up um, when I imported in for mail. Oh yeah, sorry, just going to get to that. Um, if you've already set up your account uh, in mail, Apple's mail, uh, then just when, as soon as you open an, uh, up, post box, um, it'll ask you if you want to import uh, your info or previous data from mail. Also if you got a Gmail in any, with any email account, you just pop in your stuff and it'll, it'll ask you to import old messages and stuff like that. Uh, so pretty cool um, that it can just do that um, straight off the bat. Um, anyway, so we'll go for a new message. So we'll do that to Marcus and we'll do Hi. And uh, don't want him to bother with this because uh, it's just a test. Uh, so, anyways, standard things up here. Just you know, change the formatting. I can send it. I can save it as a draft. I can do spell check, which is pretty cool. I don't think mail does that. Or I can add an attachment. Um, uh, also over here, I can add another attachment of all uh, all um all the files that are available that uh, we think that I should attach and then I can attach any images which is also pretty cool um, yeah and these are all images I think from within um, from within the program I don't think they're yeah they're just uh, images that you get that people have sent you uh, then all your links from here I don't know I guess you can just drag them out yeah that's uh, pretty cool. I didn't know that you could do that. Again, I said I just got this earlier. And if you want to put out an image, uh, we'll just put out this. Obviously, that's not how you would do your smileys. Um, but we'll put this picture of Marcus out, which uh, I took of him earlier to annoy him. Um, so, yeah, and you can just kind of scale with it. I think Mail does that as well. But anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, your links. Uh, you can do your address book. Um, or the address books that you, the thing, uh, you know, whatever, you know what I mean. And you can add a signature as well by just kind of dragging that out, you know, pretty cool. Uh, well, what happened to that image? There we go, we'll scale that back down. So it's uh, pretty handy the way you can just kind of drag things out and uh, then just be able to edit them. So we can, uh, we won't send that. Um, don't bother saying that. No, I don't want to save it. Don't wanna. Another cool thing that we found out is that uh, it um, you can post straight to Facebook. So I can say something. I already wrote something earlier. And uh, if we go to my Facebook, I posted this. Doing stuff, nothing too interesting. Seven minutes via postbox. If you see that, let's click on that. See what it does. Postbox. Anyway, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and you can also do that with Twitter. Um, 
don't think you can do multiple accounts with Facebook and Twitter, but you know, and uh, you can also you know do your multiple accounts there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty. These things are pretty handy if you're doing like a com company like us, and you just want to have kind of most of the things all in one. Like I can do a Twitter. I haven't set up the Twitter account yet, uh, but also we have tabs here, which is pretty cool. Um, so we can go to our inbox attachments that reads receive from people. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, all the images we've received, all the links that we've received, and all our contacts. And uh, hmm, funny enough, it um, shows uh, what your friends have uh, written on their Facebook. That's very cool. Again, I didn't know that. Uh, so that seems like um, seems like it's it uh, with uh, Postbox uh, for App of the Week this week. I'm uh, Dara of TechShit. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, what did you think of it? Uh, leave a comment below or on our Twitter in case you don't know it. It's twitter.com forward slash tech shit no I or star just S H T O one. Uh, we um, have Facebook. Uh, have to create a link for it because it's a long link. It's like facebook.com forward slash group forward slash 24118. So I'm not going to post that here. Um, but I will shorten that URL and uh, so you guys. Um, will be able to access it. Uh, also, um, we uh, are creating a website. Well, we already did create a website, but we decided we need to make it better. Um, it's actually on the internet. I shouldn't have said that. Um, but yeah, um, you're not able to access it though. Like there's a password and stuff. Um, but um, we can. Uh, we'll ha we have. Uh, we've worked out a. You can register and automatically sign up to email updates, be able to access all our episodes and download them straight to iTunes. Um, and a whole kind of like database of all our videos as well. So it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, you should be uh, excited for that. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm Dara of Tech and App of the Week and you just got App of the Week. I don't know. Uh, yeah, whatever. See you later.